In GrandMA 3 version 1.8, we took care of a highly requested feature, especially from theaters or installations. It's called multi-patch. Why do we need a multi-patch? We have a main fixture and underneath we have some fixtures which are controlled with the same fixture ID. And at the end, these multi-patch fixtures doesn't cost parameters. So it is often used for, let's say, house lights, which anyway should do the same in our show or for eight light bars, for example, where you have one fixture ID for eight fixtures for eight parkens on your bar. So let's see how we can create a multi-patch in our fixture patch. We go to the menu and we go to our patch and we add a new fixture, for example, a simple dimmer fixture. So we say insert new fixture. We go to our library and we're searching for a dimmer. We found it great. Let's select it. The fixture ID is fine for us, the patch as well. So we create this dimmer fixture. And now for this dimmer fixture with the fixture ID 301, we want to create some multi-patch fixtures. So we can find a new button here in our patch window, which says create multi-patch. We do that and we can decide how many multi-patch fixtures we want to create. Let's say we want to create eight, for example, like that. And in our patch list, we can see all of these eight multi-patch fixtures below our dimmer fixture 301. So that means when we patch those fixtures now, maybe we patch them to universe 10. It doesn't matter for us at the moment. All of these fixtures will be controlled by this fixture ID 301. And these multi-patch fixtures, they doesn't cost parameters for us. So let's see how it looks like. Um, we first of all add some position. So in the patch window, we change to the full view so that we can see the 3D positions here. We set them to a specific Z level. So we put them to four meters high so that we can see them in our 3D afterwards. And we say from minus one through one. Great. So we have some positions for our multi-patch fixtures. We leave the patch, save and exit. Do not forget to save everything. And when we select fixture 301, you can see that we selected the first fixture here. We bring the dimmer to full, right, with our encoder. And you can see all the other fixtures. So all our other multi-patch fixtures here, they will do exactly the same. So now I can control all of these fixtures directly with my fixture ID 301. And as I said, they doesn't cost parameters. Let's also have a look how it looks in the fixture sheet. So we get rid of the pools here and we open up a fixture sheet. You know how to do this. Open a fixture sheet and we have a look at our fixture ID 301, which is right at the bottom. We can select the fixture here as well. We bring it to full and you can see our multi-patch fixtures do exactly the same. Of course, we can select the multi-patch fixtures themselves as well. So what we could do now is we say fixture 301 multi-patch. You can also use the shortcut MU in the command line for, for example, right? You can see the multi-patch fixture itself. It gets a slightly different color in the 3D. So a light red that it's selected. And in the fixture sheet, you can also see that our main fixture, so our fixture 301, is blinking in yellow and red. That should indicate when we turn up the dimmer now, so when we bring this multi-patch fixture to full, you can see all the other fixtures will do exactly the same. It will automatically set to the main fixture, to the th fixture 301 as well. So this get 100%. And of course, all the other multi-patch fixtures as well. So no matter if you select the main fixture 301 or the respective multi-patch fixtures, all the fixtures will do the same at any time. That's what we call multi-patch.